Organizations, a place where internet, intentional products are made that inspire and motivate you to place, live your best life. They will be celebrating 30 years this, in business this year, or next year, sorry. Uh, Patty's also an author, teacher, spiritual counselor. She is certified in direct divine light healing through Spiritual Arts Institute and Holy Fire Reiki through an International Center for Reiki Training. She has also created her own healing program called the School of Akashic Healing. Books Patty has written in our, our uh, DIY Akashic Heal or Wisdom with co author Jackie Smith and Healers Almanac. Her goal is to write more books, teach more healers, and serve more people as a spiritual healer and counselor. And one little known fact about her, which I thought was funny, and I just learned this, <laughs> is that she can drive a fork like, like a boss. Something that she never thought she could do until she tried, which I was terrified the first time I ever drove a high forklift, and after about five minutes, I was having a blast on that thing. So with that, help me welcome Patty to the podium. Thank you, Reverend Keith. Yeah, driving the high-low. I was terrified as well, and <laughs> then it was high low rodeo after that. Oh, yeah. It was class. <laughs> I challenge myself with it all the time. See how close I can get to that wall without hitting it. <laughs> well, good morning, everyone. I am so happy to be here, and there's a very special reason why. I get to tell you that you are all a miracle, a divine design that goes way beyond our physical senses. Many of you already know this and have experienced this. You have felt the more in the room. You have seen colors around people, you have felt their emotions, and you have known things about them that are not easily or ordinarily knowable. What you are perceiving is the aura. This is the energy field that permeates and surrounds the physical body. Today, I'd like to talk to you about a very special part of the aura, the heart chakra. As you remember, chakras are whirling vortices that bring color and light to our aura. They breathe in the energy so our aura can use it. This light is just as important as the air we breathe, the food we eat, and the water we drink. And in some ways, it's more important because the light brings to us consciousness. And consciousness is the way that we become aware of how life works. It's the instructions, if you will. When the chakras pull light into the aura, they are bringing us knowledge. And as we play with this consciousness through our experiences, we learn how to master life. We are the embodiment of living light or consciousness. Everything about your spiritual evolution is connected to the heart chakra. And this brings me to another important spiritual fact or truth. The heart chakra is also the seat of the soul. This is where our soul connects with physical life. Without this connection, we would not be able to evolve. So think of yourself in this way. You do not have a soul. You are a soul. While you are here on earth, you are immersed in the material world. The soul your soul uses this immersion to develop character by going through the experiences of gaining love, learning to love, losing love, being successful and failing miserably. You do this so you can awaken to your spiritual journey back to God and your visits to earth are the perfect place to do that. You are learning about who you are, what you are capable of, and where you come from. And you did not come from Earth. But you are here now, and not as punishment, but as a student. In metaphysics, Earth is called kindergarten. So play and create and learn everything you can while you are here. And this is why the heart chakra is the most important and hardest working chakras of all of them. It's through your heart chakra that you process all of your experiences. It's an extremely busy place. And it is built to help you improve the way you respond to every part of your life. 
So what makes up your life? Your relationships, your career, knowing and fulfilling your purpose, mastering abundance, your spiritual destiny, how much stamina you have and how to create more, being healthy and returning to health after an illness and realizing your potential for this lifetime. So let's talk about some interesting facts about the heart chakra. It's located in the center of your chest and its nucleus is emerald green. It supports the lungs, heart, arms, and hands, thymus, and immune system. Its inner state is compassion. When it's blocked, you tend to feel withdrawn, critical, lonely, and lack empathy. Some behaviors you'll indulge in are jealousy, feeling like a victim, being a people pleaser, and fearful. A blocked heart chakra will affect the health of your lungs and your heart and your immune system and your blood pressure and your hormones. And many things can damage the heart chakra and cause energy to be blocked or move counterclockwise. There are outside forces beyond your control that you have to deal with, but there are also things you do to yourself where you break your own heart. A big one is when you avoid doing something you really have to do, like follow a dream, tell someone you love them, or forgive someone and let the situation go. This takes a toll on the heart chakra. In the book, Change Your Aura, Change Your Life, I don't know if it's backwards or not, but um, the author tells a story of a man she helped after suffering a heart attack. It all started with him losing the love of his life to another man. His jealousy and lack of self-worth put a heavy gray cloud over his heart. And because she was clairvoyant, she could see it. And she could see the pressure that it was putting on the function of his heart chakra. Well, it eventually weakened his heart muscle and he ended up in the hospital. It nearly killed him, but he survived and he contacted Barbara and asked for help. She taught him to meditate with the light and she counseled him. And in time, he was able to understand what had happened and what he was responsible for. He learned to turn his focus from love lost to all the love that is still here for him. He recovered fully and lived a, renewed, lived a life with a renewed sense of perspective and purpose. A healthy heart chakra does move in a clockwise motion and provides us with all the power we need to get through our challenges. So instead of being permanently wounded, we are strengthened and matured because we understand that life is really about learning lessons. A self, in a self-reflective moment today, I would like you to ask yourself, how are you handling your circumstances? Are you keeping an open mind about the role you played in a painful situation? Are you willing to make the needed changes? When you are hurt, are you feeling sorry for yourself and stay hurt? Do you seek retaliation or do you forgive and let it go? Your heart is teaching you that the choices you make will promote spiritual growth or keep you stagnant and stuck. My teacher, the same as the author of the book, says that when she sees someone going through a difficult situation and the energy in their heart is moving clockwise, she knows that they will be okay and they will get through it. She knows they are set, getting the power they need to solve their problems. It's when she sees a counterclockwise spin that she knows that there is much work to do because they are not handling it well at all and they are stuck in the circumstances and they don't see a way out. We all will make lots of mistakes and we will suffer from the mistakes of others. The world's dramas will bat us around and leave us feeling beat. That is a reality that we have and we have to deal with it. With that, I leave you with this suggestion. Take good care of your heart chakra. Learn to meditate with the light. And don't take the troubles of the world too deeply into your heart. Face your challenges, let go of the past, forgive and ask for help. 
Life is better with happy chakras. God loves you and is your source of love always. Thank you and have a beautiful day.